Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss and analyze the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, discuss your favorite celebrities. Thank you for staying with us. My name is Elsie Godwin, and as usual, I'm never here alone. I'm here with Ewa Oluoritu and Beniak. Hi. Hi. Yes. Are you trying to sound like <laughs> Benny? <I'm> not... <laughs> Are you trying to sound like him? Yeah. Okay. You can't. That was that was poor. What do you mean? If you come close huh? to it, I'll let you have ten grand right now. Ten okay. in dollars or in naira? Ten grand for lunch. Naira. Yeah, naira. Okay. Try. Mm. The money is motivating you. Your voice. Your voice. It's betraying you. It's not motivating. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See, while you try, let's just move on to the main story, right? Okay. Okay, so How a lady... How was weekend? <sighs> it went like this, you know, it went like this, and then it came like this, like... Anyway, moving on. Lady calls out comedian Hyena Na, that's what they call him, right? Over sexual harassment. He got into this web by supporting Basket Mouth, who was dropped by EU as women's rights advocate in Nigeria because of a joke he made some time ago. So yeah, so Eli decided to call him out to say she's not surprised that he will be she, he will be supporting um, basket mouth. And also <laughs> came out to apologize. I mean, if she doesn't, if she didn't have any receipt or anything to back that up, I'm sure he would have ignored or called out and said uh, the people trying to just chase clouds mm -hmm. with this um, rape issue and all. And I'm happy that he apologized. At least that's a good one. Mm -hmm. He said he didn't know it was wrong, but not that. No, he knows. That's good. I remember that particular set case about basket mouth some mm -hmm. years ago where I think mean, he made he made a joke out of a rape situation. Mm -hmm. And many people consider that very in, in, inappropriate mm -hmm. and very insensitive. And for someone of his repute, he shouldn't come out and say stuff like that, given the society we live in and knowing that rape is a serious issue. Mm -hmm. I think our comedians should learn how to say what they have to say on stage. Your monologues, your dialogues should not... This was not, not even on stage. Yeah. I think he tweeted it. I he saw tweeted the it. Yeah, I'm even just saying. I'm yeah. even on stage. You mm -hmm. see, they come out and say things. You could tell what, what you're saying, insinuating, is actually rape. What you're insinuating is actually sexual assault on women. And mm -hmm. already there's too much already against the women. And the last thing you want to do is lend your voice through your craft to encourage and endorse such. Mm -hmm. You know, and so I'm glad that somebody called him out and he did apologize, she said. Yeah. And... They should watch. They should watch what their script is all about. In mm. trying to make people. So you apologize, basket mouth or Ayina? No, Ayina. Oh, okay. What kind of a name is that? <laughs> the, I actually thought it was Ayina. You know, it should it should change his name maybe. And so um, let's let's watch what we say. We're here to promote good amongst people, and mm -hmm. society has a lot of vices fighting against already. So our craft should not be used to encourage such. Okay, and not everybody would be able to pull it, Dave Chappelle, and get, no, get, <laughs> get away no. with it. Like you can't pull that. So I mean, Dave Chappelle is, is an it, his intelligence is, is beyond many many well, people. It doesn't mean he doesn't so. have insensitive comedy. Oh, 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 he, but he that's does. I'm saying, not everyone he has, can he has pull jokes. He has Dave. jokes that are very yeah. in, inappropriate for sex mm -hmm. and then racism. But they have a way to go about it. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you need to come along with them to get exactly where they're going with what they're saying. When they would just blatantly put it out there, boom, our, our guys are not that intelligent. Mm. The few of them can count, you know, when they go, they go about their craft, about their dialogues and monologues and comedy very intelligently. Just one, two, three, few of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the interesting part of the story is that Aina is not the only kind of guy that is like that because what he did, according to him, he felt it was just um, normal. Normal. I mean, a lot of guys see these things as normal when you're joking with a girl, you're eating her like this. It's not appropriate. You should respect people's personal space. I mean, if someone does not want to hug you, don't hug that. If someone does not want to shake you, do not shake that. That person. hug part is really important. Like you don't force a hug. Yeah, like, you, you can't just. If, if I don't know you, you can just come. Even if I know. You and, and I'm like, not in the you're mood very to very friendly, and that's how you just and yeah. respect people's personal space. I agree. Okay, let's go on a very quick break, but when we come back, we definitely have more to discuss. We'll be right back. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times I worry more about where I'm coming from mm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do everybody feeling all right. Uh, I really like you. I 
can still make music and people are still buying. That was how they look myself, minimal are you? Apala mm. music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, what? <laughs> 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 Welcome back. Thank you for staying with us. Nollywood actress and filmmaker Dayo Amosa says she has not made money from Nollywood, even after shooting 12 movies. In an interview with The Sun, she disclosed that she does other things that generate money um, for her. She said, and I quote, I have not made, made the kind of money I should make now, but I know I will make it. There's a difference between making huge profits and then just getting your money back on investment. I haven't broken even. End of quote. Oh, that's sad. Well, I, I feel. Well, I feel it's not. It's not so sad. At least she she's making her investment work. So ah. she was running at a loss. No, I mean, <laughs> that would be the bigger problem. Investing in a business, what you want is to make your investment back and make profit. Mm. So if you're not making profit, that's very sad. Mm. And if you're putting like huge effort into it, and at the end of the day, someone is telling you because your movie is too indigenous or because it's local, you cannot play it at the cinemas. I mean, it's very unfair. Mm. Is that what she said? Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm surprised she actually gave that a reason mm -hmm. because. I thought we're here to promote local content. There's mm -hmm. so much emphasis being made on local content. And so if she has good content that is local, then they should let it out to the consumers. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a movie out now. So um, maybe um, at um, the end of um, the Okay, I hope I'm not more doing that. But that's in the cinema now. It's a movie. Okay. So because when I read that story, I'm like, okay, this is the reason why that mm -hmm. I think maybe there's some caveat about local indigenous kind of movies that I cannot show at the cinema. I'm like, mm -hmm. Then that that needs to be. They need to do something about that if that is true. All right, that's um, the the NBC, the 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 the, um, the the Fame Censoring Board. I think they're huge on local content, and so except there's some other reason they're not letting that know, and that cannot be the reason because we're here to promote local content. Yeah. And if the movie is good enough to be shown in cinemas. I don't see any reason why they shouldn't I mean, show it in cinemas. If, if the picture quality is great, the story is great, and everything about the movie is great, why is it not showing at the movie um, cinema? Because she went on, she went for that to explain that they, they will tell you the title is not attractive, and viewers will not want to see that kind of movie. All of that can be worked on. That, that, that's not the actual. Mm. All of that can like, be worked on. Maybe maybe there's something more to it. They're not just letting. But I'm saying now, the movie of hers is going to the cinema. I'm okay, not so sure of the date now. It's called Omonio. I hope I'm not pronouncing it wrong. Mm -hmm. but that's how it goes and it's there now I, I don't know I mean if you've done 12 whole movies and maybe she just thinks she's not making as much as she's supposed to make but then sometimes it's not just always about pointing fingers it's sometimes you have to sit down and check yourself and maybe be ready to learn also to ask those that have made money in the no, film industry it actually, what is it they are doing exactly they want them to improve on they should stay no no, no. you don't this is an interview that. you don't come out and say if there's anything i'm talking about you not taking the extra step yeah, of even out. if it's booking a meeting with whoever is in china said, oh, God, i'm about to shoot a movie what do you think i should do what are those people making money doing that i'm not doing even if they have to help you go through the script help you with the title just yeah. work hand in hand to get i mean it's a win-win it's not about calling any Anybody out. If you call them out tomorrow and they're making their money, you're not making your money. Who is losing? So sometimes I think we should just take a step back and try to learn. I what agree. are they doing? Is it promotion? Is it visibility? Is it publicity? What is it that they are doing that is not right? Because 12 movies is a lot. That's a whole lot of movies. It's a whole lot. That's there. why I said it could be worse. She's at least she's making her investment back and something, right? Mm. So hopefully she'll be able to make the kind of money she knows she can make in the industry. Mm. That's what I think. Mm. That's fine. <laughs> Okay, moving on to the next story. Rick Hassani is probably unhappy about the attention Rema is getting. He said, and I quote, you know, you know, I'm looking at Rema's show in America, in New York, etc. Um, my shows actually had way more people, at least by four times, but not many people talked about it as much as they, they're talking about his. I think our genre has more work to do to really get the kind of attention and regard, end of quotes. <coughs> Benny. Well, that's it. Rick Hassani gave, he gave himself a solution right there. Mm. All right, you, you're doing, your, your genre music music is quite uncommon mm -hmm. in these climes. Trust me, someone like Rikasani will go to some other countries, some other Asian countries, and his music will be well appreciated and accepted with fans, a lot of fans. You know, but his kind of music is still so much, um, it's not caught up with, with the populace as yet. And so the comparison between him and Rema doesn't even come to play. Mm. You know, um, Rema's kind of music is what is, what is, what is, um, what is commonplace right now, mm. you know, with his own style. And he rightly said it, that there's more popularization that should be done for that kind of general music. Alternate sound is just now beginning to appreciate alternate sound. Mm -hmm. I mean, before now, you're on your own. 
You know, so I don't want to sit by way of comparison because Rick Asani is too mature, he's too big for that. That's why he's an agbaya for you the know, streets. So, I mean, I mean like he's, I've been uh, waiting to say it, I'm waiting for you to get to a point where he's coming. He's a big yeah. agbaya. You know, I'm for sorry because this is, this, is, this is Rick Asani, this is Rema. Sorry? Yes. You know, mm. it, it, um, no, because. No, no, even if, if, well, if you're you know, saying that, I agree with you because if you're saying that you have four, um, um, like times four of the people he had at his own show, then I mean, you have your money, so enjoy and keep this tweet to yourself. Mm. So if you I think you want people to talk about you, pay people to do your promotion. It's that simple. So, Rick Asani should understand that Remus Khan style of music, your music, will appeal to the masses greatly than his kind of music. So, there is no, there's no ground for comparison between Rema and Rikasani. So that is definitely what I mean. Rikasani is, is, is a great singer, mm. um, great songs, you know, but not just the kind of tunes we appreciate around here that much. I so mean, Rema came on the scene, boom, it was instant, it was instant for him. The spotlight was on him, he was straight into the limelight. Well, let's not um, forget the man behind him also. I was and his years of experience. Yeah. Yeah. You know? him, so I, you I, cannot take the him. work Don Jazz is doing I mean, away. The if the you're not doing him. that kind of work for your brand, it doesn't happen. Well, the, it's man, not the man behind Martin. him is actually the, the prince. Rema is the prince's um, artist. Well, you know, yeah, on the, on right, the but then... Now again, publicity needs to be done. Um, that's why I said Rick Asani, he, he brought about the problem and he also provided the solution. So mm -hmm. he should go ahead and do what he needs to do. And then again, your publicity team, they need to do more work than they're doing right now for you. That's where we should start from. There's yeah. no point. I mean, he brought, if he knew the solution, he didn't need to come to and start talk about it. it. Pay people to talk about it and it will trend. The thing is, there are so many things going on in the media space that some are oblivious to. Now, they feel it happens just like, like that. Well, that's how we want it to feel like it happens. But there's so much going behind yeah. the scenes. So, Rama is in New York or whatever, having a big show, Everybody and someone is. in Nigeria is telling you, is probably tweeting the video and saying, oh, this is happening, this is awesome. No, it, it did not just happen. There is a chain of communication. Mm -hmm. Someone was there. It's a concerted effort. Yeah, They're someone was there on. having fun, sharing the video with them, making them feel, oh, this is awesome. Someone is also here to make sure people at home are understanding what is going on. When you tell these people to have proper PR, they feel like you just want to collect their money or no, we are, we are not all about the social media life. But when they are making the money they want to make, which it is the aim, right? I'm happy for you. You are making your money. You had four times people in your show. And then you see someone is not talking about you. You are still very worried about people not talking about you. But you said your aim is to make money and not be talked about. So you need to balance what you want and get it both ways. It's not like you cannot afford it. You can. So even if you have to book a session with Don Jazzy and say, I need to see you, but what can I do? This is what I was talking about when we were talking about diet. It's not just about coming out to say they don't appreciate me. Sometimes you sit down with these people and ask them, what can I do to be better? But yeah. if you're about the money, like you said, enjoy your money. No, no man is an island on, on its own. And, so, um, and you're, you're in an industry that's very competitive. There's nothing wrong with seeking advice. And I, again, I'm going to say this, credit to Rick Asani. He does great music, but not just the kind of popularized music around this area. So he, he does needs, good music. Yeah, does good I appreciate music. his music. And I think yeah, people, people appreciate Rikasani. But for Rikasani yeah. to be picking on Rema, that is what they call typical Agbaya. Like, even age-wise, let's forget about business-wise. Like, yeah. this is a young boy coming into the industry. Embrace him and let him feel comfortable. You're not, not like the one who should be treating this. Like, it's not, I'm not comfortable. No, I'm no. I, I mean, and Rikazani's song, you can't play it at a club. You can't play it. I mean, his songs are made for some uh, few specific moments. Mm -hmm. It's not something you can play everywhere. So, you, like you said, are, there is no yeah. ground for comparison. You really cannot compare Rema. And they're the, just two different people. Yeah, well, we love them both at least, mm. but um, let's behave ourselves. So moving on to the next story, don't believe two women, and this is coming from Don Jazzy, as he wants an actress called Uyanda. Um, the actress had insinuated that Don Jazzy's clothes were not pressed, and if he had a wife, it may not have been the case. Don Jazzy wow. simply said, don't believe two women like that, madam. <laughs> See, yeah. I don't know why Don Jazzy is not married. Maybe she was trying to shoot that shot. I don't care. <laughs> what do you mean you don't know why Don Jazzy is not married? Yeah. If, if he's not ready, no, he's not No, I'm just ready. saying that you know, somebody is like available. To. Like, what is, what is he really waiting for? That's Maybe what I'm saying. Who's, who's available? I don't understand. I, am I black? Are you not seeing me? <laughs> Now this is good. I, I love I love Don Jazzy's response. Mm. You know, stop belittling women because what I get clearly said, mm -hmm. marry a wife and she becomes your personal laundry woman. For sure. No. So, <laughs> by her own self, she Jack dug, a, she dug a grave and buried herself in it. So you're saying the essence of having a woman in the house is so she can become your, your housemate. Mm. All right. She can become your cook. If you want to cook, 
in a wife. They marry a chef. If you want someone that will do your laundry, get a laundryman service. Even if you marry you know, a chef, this the chef might decide not to cook for you. This, exactly. This is what I, I mean. No, I mean, employ a chef. This is what I say okay, to many yeah. of my female friends, mm -hmm. right? There's so much already against you guys in society. It's a patriarchal system. Mm -hmm. If you marry a wife, they feel she's supposed to do your laundry for you. She's supposed to be your cook, take care of the home, take care of the children. She's not meant to have an ambition. She's not meant to aspire to be anything but a housewife. All right? So the more, more women see, see these traditional roles as what a wife is meant to be, the fight against patriarchy is not going to, it's not going to succeed. Mm. All right? A woman is beyond all of these things and more. She has a right to aspire to be the DG of a company, to be the president, to be a governor, to be anything she wants to be. Now, if she decides in the bond of our being together, she wants to extend the gesture of cooking for me, I would appreciate it. She's not bound to cook for me. Because that's not why I married her in the first place. If I needed a cook, I would employ the services of a chef. She's not bound to take care of the house to clean up for me. If I need someone to do that for me, I employ the services of a maid. I say this in essence to say at the end of the day, those are not obligations of who a wife is. Yeah. By extension, she does it, appreciate her for it. If she cannot, get somebody else to do it for you. She's not your maid, she's not your cook, she's not your cleaner, she's not any of those things traditionally they've made her to become. And so where a woman becomes, and that's why we shame women who can't cook, like, and she's a woman, she cannot cook. Mm. Excuse me. Mm. There's nothing wrong because you cannot cook. If you need to cook, get a chef. If you, you need a laundry, if you need a laundry person, <laughs> my, my question if you is, need a laundry you, person, can you cook? Get a, employ the sense of a, of a laundry man or a laundry woman, and don't reduce women to all of these roles. It's just not fair. Mm. <laughs> no, to be honest, it's not fair. I feel people don't even understand what marriage is all about. Mm. A lot of people school us, baby. No. <laughs> <laughs> I feel, yes, like, cool I feel like a lot of people go into marriage because of things like this. Yeah. They need somebody to cook for them, mm. somebody to do their laundry, somebody to, you know, take care of the kids, quote and unquote. What is your own job then in the marriage? Bring money. And that's mm. it. <laughs> I'm just saying. In the, in the 21st what they think century, of. everything is co. Mm. Co-parenting. Mm -hmm. You know, we're co we're co couples. We're living together. We're doing everything together. And then so there shouldn't be a particular role totally assigned to the man and totally assigned to the woman. Mm. These are all the conflicts. People come into marriage and experience. And once one party falls short, there's conflict in the marriage. Now I'm not saying the woman should not cook. If she wants to cook, if she's just cooking, let her go ahead and cook. But please don't reduce her to just that. That is she's being turn this into cooking. It's no. iron, they're pressing. Yeah, iron, no, no, no. no, no. Everyone, it's no. like the same you know, thing. <laughs> everyone, no, no. So I'm sorry, she shot herself in the food by saying that to Don Jazzy. And Don if Jazzy she was shooting her shots, she, she went about it the wrong she way. Loves well. she, she went about it the wrong way. She has not intimidated you know. me yet. Don Jazzy is a smart man. You're like, you're like stop belittling women. And so your role is just going, I own for me. this comment, she was at Mariana Goody, I yeah, you know, he's always been clear about his yeah. um, crush <laughs> for Rihanna. Exactly. I mean, don't, you don't be a little man like that. Mm. All right, moving on real quick before I say what I'm not supposed to say. <laughs> I did something very wrong and stupid, and this is coming from Princess Shingle, who oh, writes an apology baby. letter wow. to her boyfriend. <laughs> oh. Okay, no, I, I'm, I'm confused when it comes to Shingle, because, I mean, about Shingo? the last time we... Talked about her? Okay, not before the rib stain. Okay. Um, when she was saying that her engagement broke because um, they arrested her boyfriend or something is this the same boyfriend yeah okay now I'm, i think i'm confused same boyfriend is the same boyfriend same boyfriend isn't it i'm not sure i'm confused this is another fiance <laughs> oh god <laughs> why did i offend no, you no, no, that be the same boyfriend because she she did say in a statement that uh -huh. you know what um you're the first you're the first man i'll ever love and you're the, and, and you're the last man ah, that, that man love. is not the first one you know oh, wow. Okay. But I mean, it's okay that she's owning up to her own stupidity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She said it herself. Like, easy, easy, baby. That's, that's my baby you're talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah I'm talking about it. Yeah, but she's <laughs> owning up to her <laughs> own stupidity. Yeah, I mean, Why would you even post a video of someone threatening to kill himself? How do you, because is that you. supposed to make him feel better or worse? Well, are you trying to make yourself feel like the dawn or the queen that somebody's about to mm -hmm. die for? She's that's a prima it. donna. Mm. Wow. <laughs> now, well, I'm glad she's apologizing. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just confused as to who exactly this 
fiance is and there's a picture of him i hope we're not going to have another fiance there was a picture of the guy no oh. there's always a fiance story related to shingo, a shingo. so a i'm just confused there's just always might, a relationship I, I mean, i'm, I'm, I'm beginning that. to feel like all this thing is just probably publicity stones so to stay in the news just, right? yes people just keep talking about her because girl, we're you're always about having you. issues with your fiance and you're bringing it to social, social media, media. Like, every time keep your business we don't want to know if you are breaking up is okay if you're making up is okay keep it to yourself it just keeps getting worse every time she comes out to say all these things i know you don't have anything to say because <laughs> no no are, i do have you are star, you are, is it star struck now or love struck <laughs> star not star struck oh. i mean just body struck oh, wow. um, wow. You know, yeah. I've always said, right, like there's some things that should never make it to the pages of social media, to the daylight of social media. Mm -hmm. Your relationship status, your marriage, whatever is going on in your personal space, you know, I mean, we've not been able to divide the line between what is personal any longer and what should make it to the blogs, the tabloids. And it's, it's a generation we find ourselves. Everybody wants to be on social media. All right. Tomorrow, now she comes out and says something different. We're like, okay, like you're even confused. No, no, like, you don't it's know the which inconsistency of, that's a problem. You don't even know which of the man. You don't even know which of the man she's really referring to right now because maybe know. she's been with one, two, three different men. It's good All right. to her. Your relationship, your marriage should be you and your partners dealing, and not for for social consumption. But where you decide to make it, put it no, out there for social you. consumption. I'm sorry. Get ready for whatever backlash that's going to come with. I love PDA. PDA, there's no more public display of affection. Mm -hmm. I mean, as long as you don't... Even social media PDA. As long as you're oh, not wow. telling your story. Wow. <laughs> because, you see, there's a, last wow, thing, okay. let's not get it twisted. Mm -hmm. Like you said, I yeah. think we've not been able to differentiate between what she get on social media and what she... And what she meant nobody's not say, Nobody's saying don't show off your man or your woman on social media, but there's some things that you just don't put out there. Especially for someone like her. She said she was... Um, she had to... She had battled with depression once, and then somebody is sending you this kind of video, and you think that you want to put it out there hmm. it's just wrong yeah but at the same time she's single man she's single like that hmm. this is serious and the picture of the guy so the guy the guy looks good it's a good looking it's a good looking tall dark handsome as she described him that's how she described him you know so hey, let's wish them all the best then hmm. okay yeah well, I, wish I wish them I'd... all the best <laughs> Thank you very much for finishing that. I hope that they find happiness and share what they want to share. And this is entertaining me. Me, I have something to talk about. And I mean, time. I hope that she has, some, has something to learn from this and know that there are some things that she needs to keep off social yeah, media. She true. needs to. It's becoming too much. Uh, only if it's a publicity stone. But if this, if what, this what is would, bad, what would you make like, someone someone's apology to you that for a thing as personal as that a publicity stunt? I mean, mm. are, are you thinking about a person's mental state of being and how depressing that could? make that person feel because this was me apologizing to you crying mm -hmm. and then you put it out there for people to see me you, you're, sh you're actually shaming you me know, the, you know i don't know have you had this the do anything for clout yeah yeah mm. i know but shingle is enough for clout she, she's clout herself and so you don't have, now need to bring down another person who you claim to love it was to that kind of situation <laughs> That Shingo is big enough. She's clouts herself. Mm. Why are you all looking at me like that? I mean, I don't even know how I feel about this story, but good luck to Shingo, the fiancé, and everybody. I hope they find peace and love, and I hope you get the attention you need from Shingo also. Someday Benny. soon, I, I could just be the next man she'll be talking about. Oh, all right, okay. no problem. I hope you won't be crying I in the video. I hope you don't get that. <laughs> Uh, I think that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, you can catch up on all this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel, La Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, we go to Michael Ankos, Ewa Luoritu, and Benny Ak, and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin saying, have yourself a great day. Thank you.